All right, folks, thanks for checking out the video. I want to play a clip here from now former Fox News host Tucker Carlson. Now, as most of you know, Tucker Carlson was let go from his hosting duties at Fox on Monday. And now Tucker has made his first public statement since that happened. So I'm going to play the clip and then we will talk a little bit about it. So here's Tucker. Good evening. It's Tucker Carlson. One of the first things you realize when you step outside the noise for a few days is how many genuinely nice people there are in this country, kind and decent people, people who really care about what's true and a bunch of hilarious people also, a lot of those. It's gotta be the majority of the population, even now. So that's heartening. The other thing you notice when you take a little time off is how unbelievably stupid most of the debates you see on television are. They're completely irrelevant. They mean nothing. In five years, we won't even remember that we had them. Trust me, as someone who's participated. And yet at the same time, and this is the amazing thing, the undeniably big topics, the ones that will define our future, get virtually no discussion at all. War, civil liberties, emerging science, demographic change, corporate power, natural resources. When was the last time you heard a legitimate debate about any of those issues? It's been a long time. Debates like that are not permitted in American media. Both political parties and their donors have reached consensus on what benefits them, and they actively collude to shut down any conversation about it. Suddenly, the United States looks very much like a one-party state. That's a depressing realization, but it's not permanent. Our current orthodoxies won't last. They're brain dead. Nobody actually believes them. Hardly anyone's life is improved by them. This moment is too inherently ridiculous to continue, and so it won't. The people in charge know this. That's why they're hysterical and aggressive. They're afraid. They've given up persuasion. They're resorting to force. But it won't work. When honest people say what's true, calmly and without embarrassment, they become powerful. At the same time, the liars who've been trying to silence them shrink and they become weaker. That's the iron law of the universe. True things prevail. Where can you still find Americans saying true things? There aren't many places left, but there are some, and that's enough. As long as you can hear the words, there is hope. See you soon. All right, so that was Tucker Carlson. As long as you can hear the words, there's still hope. Now, interestingly enough, Tucker posted this on Twitter. He put, made the post at about right at about 8 p.m. Eastern on the dot, which is when his program would typically air. So this was really good to see uh, Tucker. I mean, obviously, most of us were surprised to hear the news on Monday morning that he was no longer at Fox and we hadn't heard uh, anything from him since then until until this. So uh, clearly here he's he's taken a shot at the media industry and in, in probably including his former employer uh, over at Fox News. So I would expect to see more of things like this from from Tucker in the future. Now there's a lot of speculation is, you know, is some other network going to pick him up or is he going to do his own thing online? Now we don't really know. I mean, clearly uh, he's set up here to, you know, he, I believe he has his own home studio. So he, he could easily continue to make posts like this on Twitter until, you know, he has something more uh, fixed going on. But, uh, you know, I, I saw, you know, AOC and, and, and the, the, the gals over at, at the view were, you know, celebrating and gloating. Oh, Tucker got fired by Fox. Oh, ha ha ha. But I think Tucker's going to have the last laugh because one, he's free from the uh, constraints of being employed by a corporate media outfit. And two, he's probably going to be bigger than ever. And he's probably going to reach more people than he's ever reached before in whatever capacity. You see this this video here has already has 8.6 million views and it's been up for you know less than six hours. So 
clearly, uh, you know, all, all the people uh, celebrating the demise of Tucker uh, aren't, aren't going to be too happy um, to see that. So his voice is, is definitely needed. Uh, he's, you know, like, like he says, all, all the, all these big, big things like war, civil liberties, demographic change, you know, nobody talks about those things in in the mainstream <clears throat> in the mainstream press. So, and and if you do, you end up like Tucker. You, you have the highest rated show, and you get fired for it. Typically, they they should have rewarded Tucker, but instead he gets kicked to the curb for talking too much truth. So, let me know what you all think. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.